Hey everybody. Okay, I wanted to make a video real fast because I'm getting lots of questions. Um, I think you guys have seen my um, most recent hair topper pictures. Um, I just kind of put it all out there because I've been like hiding behind this for so long now that I'm just kind of tired of hiding behind the fact that I don't have um, any hair left. So I every day camouflage with, and I'm gonna get up real close and you guys will see like dark hair powder on my roots. If all this dark wasn't here, it's literally, it's all scalp. Um, so I camouflage with the dark root hair powder um, so that you can't see directly to my scalp, but all of my hair is, is literally gone. I mean, I've got little pieces and buds everywhere. Um, I think from, you know, all the hormones, everything, cancer, trauma, it's just, it's taken a toll on my body and my hair. So I every day camouflage my hair, but my hair has gotten so thin that I just really, I can't do anything with it. So I found these amazing hair toppers, um, and they have literally changed my life. So I just want to kind of give some ladies some hope that don't have much hair or have thinning. Um, because I know that after like going through all this and now posting about it, I've gotten so many messages from women all over that are experiencing the same type of loss, if not worse. Um, and I guess I didn't realize how huge the hair loss community for women is. And I just wanna share the love and show you guys what I have found. And um, I have a great little connection that I met in New York that makes these custom toppers and they are beautiful. And I cut and colored these myself, but I'm gonna show you the different ones and you can custom order different colors and stuff. They just take a little bit of time to make because they're all hand sewn. But this is my little, what she calls a wiglet, okay? And this is just a tiny, I think it's like a five by three and a half. Um, and this is just a little one, but it's got a fairly decent amount of hair on it. It's all human hair, so it curls. Um, it stays curl, curled, you can color it which is awesome. Um, the parting and the scalp, all of her stuff is super, super natural. I mean, it looks like like real scalp. Um, so this is just my little topper. So I wanna show you guys the difference between the little topper and the bigger topper. So this is my little topper. This is the one that I like to call Phoebe. And I just flip it around. Actually, let me find a little bit of a part here. I start with a part. So part your hair where you usually part it and lay it that way. And then with the clips open, you're gonna just kind of flip it back. It's like a toupee. And then you're gonna, I'm sorry, I'm gonna look at my mirror. You're gonna clip it to your part. And I start with that first one. I just clip down that first one. Then I clip down the side, clip the back, and then the other side. I just kind of hold it tight while I do that. Okay, so this one is Phoebe. I like to call this one Phoebe. So this one doesn't have as much hair on it, but it is enough to cover my balding areas, which is, um, of course, my front and then the top. Let's see if I can flip around the top of my head right there so y'all can see that. Because without that on, I literally, you can see, I'll post my before pictures, you can see everything. And then what I usually like to do is I take one of my combs, of course I didn't bring my comb over here, but I pull a little bit of my real hair out of the front and I just kind of comb that, brush that through, and that just kind of makes it look even more realistic. And it actually even works to my advantage because I do have some gray hair coming in, so it makes it look even more real. Now, of course, if somebody got up like super, super close, I mean, they might be able to tell, but I, I don't know. Nobody knows that I'm wearing these things. So this is my Phoebe. This is called like a little wiglet, okay? And I've pinned her back before. I've worn like, like a braided headband that was really cute. Um, I curl her. So this, is, this, this one's Phoebe. And this is just my little asymmetrical bob. But as you can see, it just gives me a little bit more hair, but it doesn't have like a ton of hair. It's just like, the it's a perfect amount um, for every day. Okay, so this is Phoebe. You like how I name all these? I'm gonna take her off. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you guys, this is Roxy. And you guys saw Roxy before, she was long. She was like down to here. Um, but she was a little too heavy and she didn't blend with my hair. I need a bigger topper for her to blend with my hair. So I decided to cut her. So I cut her last night 
and I colored her. I added a little bit of balayage in there, so it just made it like a nice kind of like caramelly color. And I made her an angled bob, so her hair is a lot longer in the front. This is the in, inside cap, um, Highline Wigs. She's at, um, on Instagram, she's at Highline Wigs. And just tell her that Tawny sent you if you message her. Um, but you can also message me and I'll, I can get you directly in touch with her, which might be easier. Um, so the comb is real comfortable. These are so comfortable. But I want to show you guys once again the scalp. Look how natural that is. I mean, nobody would be able to tell. So I'm going to show you guys this one. So same thing. This one's more of a middle part. and But you can wear it however you want. But I cut her to the middle. So I'm just going to kind of part my natural hair down the middle. Got the clips opened. And then you're just going to flip her over. The comb part goes in your hair. The sides clip down. The back clips down. And then you can start messing with her. So you want to make sure that everything's secured before you start messing around. But same thing, you can take out a little bit of hair. This one, the hairline's a little bit farther. So, but I still take out a little bit of hair and comb it through because I feel like that gives me the most realistic look. So this one is Roxy. And she is fun because she's got some color, some lighter color in there. I might thin this out just a little bit here. But yeah. I mean, how fun is that? Like nobody, I don't think, would seriously ever know that I had a hair piece on. And the hair naturally dries this wavy. It is beautiful, beautiful hair. I mean, 100% human hair. It's dyeable, you can take it to your hairdresser. I can fix it for you. Um, you can do anything with it. But I am just like freaking out over this. But as you can see, this does have a lot more hair on it than my little Phoebe does. Phoebe has a lot less hair, but it just depends on what kind of look you're going for. It depends on how much hair loss you have. It depends on how much length that you want, because of course, if you want more length, you need a little bit more hair because you'll see your real hair through the bottom. But yeah, if anybody is interested in one of these, just message me and I will tell you how to order one and where to get one from. And they're amazing. They've literally like saved my life and I will just continue to wear these until my hair grows back, but I don't know. My hair might not grow back. I might be winging it for a while, which is okay because I'm having fun. So yeah, keep the messages coming, ladies. I love to be able to inspire women um, in any kind of way that I can because I feel like when we help each other and empower each other, it's so freeing to be able to just say like, hey, I don't have hair or, you know, just to kind of say your problems or your, you know, imperfections because instead of trying to hide it, like if I was just going to walk around with different wigs on, people would be like, oh, is she wearing a wig? I'd rather just people know like, oh, she's wearing a wig and she's rocking it and she looks great and awesome and I want to be, I want to be like her. I want to have one of those. So, um, yeah. I'm super excited. So you guys message me. Um, I'll keep posting all my different styles, but yeah, I'm having fun. So yeah, wigs for now. I like my long ones too. I have a couple more coming, so you guys will see them soon. All right, I love you guys. I hope you're having a great day. Bye.